The call that I feel on my heart from God is to share psychology with leaders in the church. There's so much here in the Bible about the mind, but yet, too often when I work with Christians, I say, has anyone ever taught you how the mind works? Has anyone ever explained it to you? Has anyone ever said to you, this is it? Because when you know this, you'll feel so much better, you'll perform so much greater, and the Lord will work even mightier in you. This may not mean anything to you right now, but I can assure you that in about an hour, you will see that, to, that the key to high performance is having a clear pre-conscious mind. And Jesus, man, he said these words, love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your what? All your minds, all your minds. But what does that mean? You ever feel like you're just tossing and turning in the middle of the night and you got so much on your mind? When the pre-conscious mind is flooded, it wears down our psychological defenses. First, we get stressed. Then, we break down. And here's the scary part for our leaders. If the pre-conscious mind is flooded for too long, then we break away. We got to talk, write, and pray. If we do this, the pre-conscious mind is clear, and you'll be amazed at what you can do and how well you can do it. But there is nothing that clears out our mind like the conversation we have with our Lord and Savior. When you have that conversation, when you have that prayer, when you get up off your knees, don't you feel better? Don't you feel as though things are just lifted off your mind? And God needs us to be at our best. And if we're going to get out there and deal with that enemy, we've got to be strong. And not just in our hearts, but in our minds. We've got to be strong in our minds.